Assalamu alaikum. How are you, my dear students? I think all of you are fine at your home. Dear students, most welcome to online classes of Pranamati Government High School of Class 10 of English First Paper. Dear students, we are taking online class from 1st June from Rangamati Government High School and you are also enjoying online classes on Shangshat Bangladesh Television as well. Dear students, we have taken a lot of classes uh, on online class and in our previous classes we have tried to understand you how to write well in English first paper and in our last class I have shown how to write a letter in your practice khata or exam paper. Dear students, in your English first paper, you will get a question on informal letter or email. Uh, both of these two, you will get uh, any one in your question paper and you are bound to answer that. Uh, if there is informal letter, then you have to write it well. You have a chance to get good marks in informal letter but you have to practice at first at your home. Dear students, I have shown in my last class, uh, there is at least six points for writing an, an informal letter. And today I am describing another informal letter so that you can expert in writing English letter. So dear student, please follow the board. At first, there is a question, write a letter to your younger brother about the effects of wasting time. Dear students, as this book is not big enough, so I have written this letter in brief, but in your exam paper or practice paper, you have to write it elaborately, and you can write it at least two or three pages, no problem. So dear students, at first, I have write here 20 Mekudur Haka uh, 12 5 and before starting this, we have to mention date here and today's date is 17 10 2020. At first, you have to mention date, then place of your home. Dear students, I have written the question only one line. Write a letter to your young brother about the effects of wasting time. But in your question paper, you will get some more sentences before this line and there it will be mentioned why you live, what is your name, uh, whom you to write the letter and uh, what is the address of your uh, address is. And from that question you have to take the fixed name, fixed date and fixed uh, places. You don't need to write another name except the question contained. You must write the name which is in your question. So, dear students, then here, 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 this name is mentioned in your question and you have to write here, here. Best wishes to you. Hope you are quite well. I have learned from a reliable source that you have recently become a bit in attentive to your studies. You should know that life is not a bad of roses. It is a constant struggle against all odds. Put up then dot up. I mean you have to write some other important line here and which will be based on bad effect of wasting time. And you may write it elaborately then it will take two or three pages of your practice kata of your exam paper. Then no more today, send a reply soon. Wish best affection and love your brother Johnny. And dear students, if next, he will draw a, an envelope here, but it is not mandatory. And now, dear students, I am showing you the fixed part of a letter. At first, this is uh, date and place. The date, date you will mention, but or you should mention. Uh, 
in which date you will write this letter, that date you may click here and you will 17. So I have written here 17, 10, 2020. And then the place, I mean where you live or from which place you are writing this letter to your addressing, that place you have to mention here, that place you have to click here. So it is 20 Mirko Road and Haka 12. So this is the heading of your letter, date and place, writing date and place that first of the letter is called the heading, you have to put it at first in your letter. Then here we have, it is a celebration or greeting, you must greet the addressee or you must give salutation to the addressee and writing something like that, here we have their younger brother, their friend, their father, their mother, or something like that, it's called celebration. Then, from best wishes to before your brother or your sister or your son, up to it, it's called the body of the letter. This is an important part of the letter. This part contains the main things of the letter. This part contains what you want to inform your addresses, what you want to uh, know to your addresses, that is the body of the letter. In this part, we have to describe the main thing of the letter. So this is the part C and part 4, your brother or your uh, sister or your son or something like that and this part is called subscription and in the fourth part of the letter you must have mentioned all these parts of this letter so this is the fourth part of the letter and it is called subscription then you will give your signature or name here that is Johnny and it has taken this name from question which is not mentioned in this book as it is not big enough. You must write this name from the question. You don't uh, have a right to write here another name except the question. Uh, it is mandatory for you and uh, it is called signature and this is the fifth part of your letter and at last you have to draw an envelope and in envelope you may write like that across two and you have to write here the address is address and you have to take it from definite question and in your left side you have to write from from means the person or man who is writing this letter that is called from and here you will mention your name and address and definitely your this name and address must be taken from the question but dear students follow me it is not mandatory to uh, draw and envelope in your question paper answer script or in your practice khata uh, you may avoid it or you may write it. This is not as so essential. But this part of letter is called superscription. So, dear students, this is the sixth part of a letter. Dear students, somehow this is the system for writing an informal letter. In your exam, if you write it well, accurate grammar, accurate sentence, and if you maintain all these six points of letter, then you may expect uh, to carry a good marks in this informal letter. And you have to practice at your home. Dear students, you are getting at least seven days before our next English first paper class. So you have to practice at least seven informal letter at your home and it is your home task. I think 
all of you will avail to do the home task dear students till then be safe be smart stay home in case of emergency need go outside take yourself with good health hygiene and health protection thank you all for watching our today's class